Here's my wood stove chimney cap right here that got destroyed the other night during a heavy straight line wind. I was going to try to fix it, but the inside of it is ripped out, so I couldn't beat the bat out of it and fix it. It's all warped up. That's why I didn't go ahead and fix it and put it back on there. This cost 30 something dollars years ago. This will let you know how much stuff's went up. It's not just food. The cheapest one I found just like this, it was identical, was $150-something, and most of them was over $200. One was $222 plus tax, and I was going to have to order them off the internet. So I got this model that I'm fixing to show you. I've already got it installed. It's a generic version. I don't really like it, but it's getting the job done, so let, let me show you what I got. That's what's on there now. And I've got a big old clamp on it, holding it on too for safety, extra safety. We got a, a fire going now, but it's red oak and it's burning so clean. It's down the coals right now. I got to throw some wood in there. That's why smoke ain't coming out. But that red oak, that wood I got, I got a bunch of red oak yesterday getting ready for this winter storm that's coming. And it is some of the best wood I've got this whole winter. I love any kind of oak though. Or hickory or stuff like that. But this red oak, it smells so good. It's good to cook with, too. Smoke stuff out. It's an underrated wood, too, for some kind of wood heat or cooking something on the grill outside to smoke something out. But you can see it's just a cheap model. It was right, right around 20 bucks plus tax. I don't really like the looks of it compared to the other one. But as long as it gets the job done, save the world of money, I'm going to stick with it till it wires out. Or possibly another storm. Or wind knocks it down, which I hope it don't. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button. And y'all have a good day.